So I grew up in West Yellowstone, Montana, which, as you could imagine, brought many unique opportunities and challenges. For me, most of those opportunities seemed to come from outside city limits. And that was cross-country skiing, backcountry snowmobiling, and of course, hanging out with bison. One of those challenges, however, was a love-hate relationship with dairy and junk food. <laughs> I loved the way it tasted, of course, but certainly not how it made me feel. And throughout childhood, I had become overweight. Uh, in turn, I became very self-conscious of my physical image. Realizing dairy did not work for me was a difficult thing to accept. So, at 12 years old, I chose to break up with pizza and mac and cheese all together. <laughs> going all in on taking hold of change I desired in my life at the time. And this meant no more pizza, no more mac and cheese. It was time to adapt to this dairy-free lifestyle. This was a big aha moment in my life. I realized the power of tapping in to self-actualization. Now this change became an important catalyst in how I embraced my efforts. So seemingly unrealized by many, it's personal agency that I believe connects these impactful experiences. And that's what I want to share with you all today. So agency can generally be defined as the ability to cut through all of what pulls at us, find emotional and physical balance, to think more clearly, and being able to advocate for ourselves so that we can take a course of action that makes sense. With agency, we can feel more in command of our own lives. So being intentional, then taking action. It's ultimately all about self-care. Develop an awareness and dedication for your health and your goals. And sometimes that self-care certainly takes form in naps on the floor with your dog, Macy. And those are really cherished moments. So now I'd like to represent the four pillars of personal agency with images from my through hike of the Pacific Crest Trail in 2019. The PCT is a long distance hiking trail that spans from Mexico to Canada throughout the wilderness of California, Oregon, and Washington. In total, it took me 142 days to hike from border to border. So the first pillar is forethought. This is deciding to take on the challenge, thinking ahead, setting goals, and making plans. For me, it was establishing a gear list, doing the route planning, and developing a resupply strategy so that I could sustain myself while out on the trail. Implementation is next, and this is taking those first steps, enacting plans, and persisting towards success. My journey on the PCT began at the US-Mexico border, and even though Canada seemed like an impossible distance away from me when I started, all I needed to do was put one foot in front of the other and do that over and over again. So self-management, this is taking care of yourself, dealing with emotions and stress, and maintaining good health to sustain these efforts. Through hiking inherently puts quite a strain on the body and the mind amid these hard days. And this reminds me of the importance in nourishing the mind's strength and ability to pivot when necessary. <coughs> Lastly, we have learning and adapting. And this is monitoring progress, rethinking strategies and tactics, and making effective adjustments. Through hiking is full of planning, and as with life, everything can change in an instant making those well-laid plans now irrelevant. Remember not to put too much faith in expectation. So fast forward to 2021, I decided to start pursuing a degree in mechanical engineering at MSU. I didn't know where the path would lead me, but I knew I could do hard things when I put in the work. And my high school experience did not prepare me for a degree in STEM, so I was quite nervous in how I would tackle what felt like PCT 2.0. With acceptance of my shortcomings and grit to persevere, I adapted. I now have developed a love for STEM and specifically mathematics, contrary to what you might feel. So I would like to apply the concept of agency to an analogy I made with math. Now don't go running for those doors just yet. You don't need to get the math here to get what I'm trying to convey. So introduce the sine wave. This represents the pattern in life which feels oscillatory. It's full of peaks and valleys, and it's easy to get stuck in this pattern because the high point can shield us from acknowledging the lows that will come again. So I think we should try and change this. So in mathematics, we have a tool called the U-substitution in order to solve complex equations. It works by transforming something complex into something more manageable. And in this case, we will do a Y-O-U-sub where you commit yourself to implement the change out of this peak and valley pattern that you might find yourself in. So 
Enter the integral. Everybody's seen this one, right? <laughs> yeah? Uh, I think we're on the same page uh, now. Uh, I know it's big and scary, and that is very analogous to life, uh, the change that we desire in life, rather. So there are tools and resources out there to support turning interest into action. So just like in mathematics, these tools are there to support in our efforts. The tricky part is remembering that those resources are there. With dedication and hard work, a solution can be found, even when the path getting there seems foggy. Now even that solution seems unclear, so let's plot this thing to change our perspective. Aha, an exponential curve. We see now that we have broken out of the oscillatory sine wave, the peak and valley pattern, and have an exponential growth opportunity in front of us. Growth can certainly be slow, and that's part of the course, but I still think it's worth a leap of faith. So good things take time to develop. So slow growth is inevitable a lot of the time. We can never expect things to change immediately. With perseverance, change will happen, and your growth opportunity is limited only by your mind and your willingness to put in the work or not. And of course, you need to honor yourself for where you are. As with hiking, you need to find a pace that makes this journey sustainable. It's a long road. So I believe that today is the day and this moment is the perfect moment. Happy Valentine's Day. Whether alone or with a loved one, I wish you all a beautiful journey. Thank you very much.